Welcome back, esteemed scholars, to our second lecture of the semester. I hope you're all having a splendid week and you're eager to continue expanding your knowledge in this course. Today, we will delve deeper into the material and further develop our understanding from our first unit. I encourage you to engage in classroom discussions and ask thought-provoking questions to maximize this opportunity. Let us embrace this moment and strive for excellence in our lecture. The objectives for this lecture cast is to go over the unit topics, to cover the unit's integration, to look at the unit's project, and finally, look into our unit's reflection. Today, we will review the unit objectives and lessons for the first unit. Understanding what we'll be learning and what we need to accomplish to succeed is essential. By the end of this unit, you should be able to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of the key concepts, apply critical thinking skills to solve problems, and effectively communicate your ideas. So let's get started and work together to achieve our goals for this unit. The topics we will be covering are one, Unit conversion and chemical calculation. Two, states of matter. Three, phase changes. Four, atoms, elements, compounds, and mixtures. Five, physical and chemical changes and properties. Six, atoms and ions. Referring back to the ACT chemistry test, we will have covered the objectives with the smile emoji next to them after finishing the first unit. We will have done introduction to chemistry, mass, volume, and density, elements, atomic mass, and nomenclature, which is part of the chemistry component on the test worth 30 to 50% of the overall grade. It's always a good idea to read ahead and review the content that has already been covered. This will help you stay on top of the material and ensure you're fully prepared for future lessons. By taking the time to review what has been learned, you can reinforce your understanding of the subject matter and identify any areas where you need additional support. So please always make sure to read ahead and review the material covered in class. We will have two integration for this unit. One is a math integration using Khan Academy. And the second one is a technology integration using FIT Interactive Simulations. For the first integrating point, we will aim to improve your understanding of chemical calculations using Khan Academy. It will be used to practice solving various problems. Some of the questions involve finding the concentration of a solution or determining the amount of a particular element in a compound. Scientific notation and significant figures will also be accomplished. However, using FIT simulation, we will use technology to build an atom out of protons, neutrons, and electrons. We will see how elements, charge, and mass change. Then you will play a game to test your ideas. For the unit project, you will be researching the use of salt to dissolve ice on roads in North America. 
It is fascinating to see the science behind the process and the impact it has in our daily lives. It is incredible to think that something as simple as salt can prevent accidents and improve the safety of our roads during winter. I am excited to help you learn more about the effectiveness of salt as a de-icing agent and explore alternative methods for keeping our roads safe and clear. You can see the main keywords for this project on the PowerPoint slide, which is the ice on roads, freezing point, melting point, salt, North America, and finally, the intermolecular forces. As a responsible citizen of our modern American school, it is important to understand the impact we have on the environment. For the unit reflection, we will delve deeper into the chemistry behind CFC gases and their potential to cause ozone depletion. By learning about this topic, we are taking an important step towards fulfilling our mission and vision as citizens who care about the world around us. It is our responsibility to be aware of our actions, consequences, and take steps towards a sustainable future. Let us continue to educate ourselves and to take action towards a healthier planet. We can make a difference, and it starts from our understanding of the science behind our environmental impact. Finally, I would just like to take a moment to express my gratitude for your attentive listening during the second lecture cast. I wish you all the best as you embark on this journey. Should you have any questions or concerns throughout the year, please do not hesitate to contact me via email using the email address shown on the slide. I am always here to support you and help you achieve your academic goals. Again, I look forward to a successful and a productive year ahead. Thank you all. Have a lovely day.